All right, so let's say you have an image that you want to remove the background on. Um, my favorite way to do this is with Keynote. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Keynote, and this will technically work on your iPad or your Mac. But if I open it up, and I'm just gonna choose a uh, basic white presentation and hit Create. Now this is just gonna give me a blank white background. Now by default, there's a title and subtitles and all these boxes. I'm literally just gonna click to select the box and hit the delete key on the keyboard to delete these. And so what I want is just an empty white box like this. So now I have an image on my clipboard that I copied and I'm gonna go ahead and paste that image in here. So this is a little Bitmoji image I have here and let's say I wanted to crop this image back down and maybe get rid of the stairs. Um, so what I can do is a couple things. First of all, uh, if I double click on that image, um, the box is changed to what they call a crop tool or a crop box. Um, this first option with the clear uh, or white boxes, this will simply resize the image. Um, but the second one here with the black boxes, this will actually crop it. So I can actually adjust this and crop parts out of that image down to make it where I don't have to do quite so much work. So once I have that cropped down, so let's say something like that, I'm gonna go ahead and click done. And now this image has been cropped. So that's the first step. Um, the second thing I wanna do here is I'm gonna use a tool in Keynote called the um, Instant Alpha tool to help try to remove some of this other um, stuff that I don't want. So to use this tool, I'm gonna go ahead and click on my image, and then over here on the right in this formatting palette here that shows up, uh, there's a section called image. And under image, there's an option that's called uh, instant alpha. And so if I click on instant alpha, what this allows me to do is I can click on a color anywhere in my uh, image, and if I click and hold down the mouse and drag, it'll actually make that color uh, disappear. So I know I want to get rid of some of the staircase. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the pink of the staircase and I'm going to click and drag and you notice how it kind of highlights it. In this case it makes it green. This is adjusting the um, overall um, tolerance that it's going to look at as it's doing this. So the closer or smaller I make this circle, the more specific it's going to look for colors. The bigger I drag this circle, the more or less forgiving it's gonna be and it's gonna take all of these colors or anything that it's selected. So now if I let go of the mouse, uh, it tells me, okay, this is what it's done. If I click done, anything that it's selected disappeared. Now, it didn't quite get everything, but it got most of what I need, so I can simply just do it again. So I make sure I have it selected. I can go to instant alpha. This time I'm gonna go ahead and do the letters. So I'm gonna click and hold down the mouse again and drag uh, until it selects a lot of these letters. I'm just gonna worry about the what's and don't worry about the good just yet. And now again, when I click done, it is done. It is finished, it has cropped those things out. Now there are a couple other little ones here that I could go through and I could do some uh, fine tuning to make it absolutely perfect if I want. But for the sake of my image, I'm gonna leave it just as that. Now, the other thing that I like to do, um, I could just copy and paste this image into another app or something if I need to, but let's say I wanted to save this image as a transparent image um, with no background. So what I can do in Keynote is I'm gonna go ahead and click on Format, and I'm gonna make sure I have nothing selected. I don't want my image selected, I just wanna click on some empty space. And over here where it says Background, there's an option that says Color Fill. I wanna make that say no fill. And what that means is, is the background will be invisible. It's gonna show up as black right now, but when I export this, it's going to be invisible. So now what I can do, uh, I can go ahead and go to file. I'm gonna export, and I wanna export it to images. And what this will do is it will make one image of every individual slide in my presentation. So I could actually do a whole bunch of images at one time if I need to, just put one on each slide. So once I get to images, it asks me what format I want. It's very important you want, if you want the invisible background, you have to choose PNG. That's the only format that supports transparent backgrounds. But once I check it, or choose ping, make sure that box is checked and hit next. It's gonna ask me where I wanna save it. I'll go ahead and call Untitled. 
change it called the Bitmoji and save it on my desktop and hit export. And it will go ahead and export. And then if I go and look at my desktop and I search for Bitmoji, here is that PNG file. And you'll notice it has no background. It is just a totally transparent image that I can now use to copy and paste and put anywhere else that I want.